All right, all right, all right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Planet Gen X podcast. I'm Sean, that over there is Brian, and we are so fantastically happy that you're here tonight, today. Well, it could be day or night, it doesn't matter, you know, where you're at. Uh, Whenever you get at it. That's right. We're just glad you're here. And while you're here, take that time out to hit that subscribe button and maybe leave a like. You know, hey, if you get a little further and you're like, I don't like this shit at all, just at least leave a dislike on the way out. You know, much appreciated. That's all we ask. So, uh, yeah. How are you, buddy? I'm doing okay. Uh, not much to report. Not a whole lot going on right now. It's the the week before Valentine's Day, and you know, on Valentine's Day, I help our mutual friend's wife. Yes, yes, indeed. You become a flower uh, delivery boy for a day I or do. two. Yeah. Well, I don't know about the boy part, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he may have boys in the van with him. No. Um, um, and you have a birthday coming up too. So I right do. Before yeah. That. <clears throat> It's like you got. I'll be the same age as you. That's right. Well, you'll be in the forty-seven club. Yep. Yeah. It's not. How about you? Uh, nothing fancy to report here. Just been a wonderful, normal week, pretty much. But thank God for those, right? Yeah, I did. uh, I did my normal searching around and watching the internet like I do and whatnot. And man, oh days, are the Xbox crowd uh, really worried? They are, uh, we don't really know what exactly is going to go down. It's all rumors and hearsay, but there was a lot of rumor that some exclusive games are possibly going to be let out to Nintendo Switch, for example, and dun, 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 maybe even PS5. Right. Yeah. So crazy news there which has spun into all kinds of theories or are they getting out of the console business? I saw one reference. Somebody said, did you notice that they talked about, uh, I don't know where they saw it or whatever, but it was called uh, Microsoft Game Pass now or something. I don't Hmm. know if they've changed it, going to change it or what. But yeah, so like Microsoft Game Pass versus Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, well, this comes hot on the hills of them uh you know the ftc having a problem with them right uh with layoffs yeah but i mean geez i mean everybody's been laying off so i I mean how can you target one company like that for laying i mean unless it's just a ridiculous amount i guess but well there was apparently everybody says it's pretty much baseless but uh for some reason a judge somewhere said that uh them laying people off was uh contrary to what they promised during their uh last hearing concerning what was that uh activision blizzard uh, Ac- uh mm-hmm. acquisition. yeah the acquisition of the activision yeah so um some of the games they were talking about are starfield obviously mm-hmm. Uh, one big one I know a lot of people are, are really pissed about is that Indiana Jones game coming out soon. Uh, they think that one's going. Uh, what is it? Uh, possibly Halo series. Yeah, I think there would be a lot of people excited about that. Yeah, uh, Gears of War, perhaps. It's like, uh, what was that? Cyper Rush or something like that? What was the name of that one? Um, Drawing a blank on it. Hi-Fi Rush. Oh, yeah. And then possibly Sea of Thieves. Right. Yeah, we said Starfield. Yeah, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. I couldn't remember the full name of it. Oh, the Senua's Saga, Hellblade 2. That's another big one course halo i said that uh pentiment whatever the hell that is i don't even <laughs> know what that is not ringing a bell for me either. yeah that one's in there like uh just wedged in there crazy and all i don't know <laughs> maybe it, maybe that was an ad and it's just disguised to look like it was who knows but yeah i mean so it did prompt <clears throat> uh phil phil spencer to 
put out a, a tweet to break the silence and say, listen, we got a, a, a thing coming out. And at the time he didn't say when, but I think it's February 12th now is what we're looking at to where we'll maybe get an explanation of either, hey, these rumors are completely untrue or damn, somebody leaked a lot of shit. Right. Yeah. Well, also, uh, around the same time, I was hearing complaints about how Windows 12 is just a a nothing upgrade to Windows 11, right? It's yeah. like a licensing upgrade is all it is. Oh, yeah, and I'm sure it's, uh, I mean, it's going to be mainly just uh, a skin upgrade. Right. You know, it's going to be, it's like playing your favorite games, man. You buy your skins. That's what Microsoft should do. Just fucking have a core and just let you start buying skins and shit, and that's your license. Right. Or something like that, you know. I don't even know why I'm saying that. That's a scary thought to, to uh, <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> look at their business practices, right? Jesus. <laughs> Could you imagine uh, microtransactions for your Windows use? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> that would it be doesn't wild, sound like wouldn't a far it? Cry. Dude, that would be so wild, but that would kill piracy. I mean, you'd have no choice. No. I, well, I say it would kill piracy. No, it don't necessarily wouldn't. Somebody would figure out some way of counterfeiting the uh, the currency somehow. Token or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, they'd yeah. figure out something. Exploit it. Yeah, so we'll see. Come the 12th, that's your birthday, so. We'll see. A lot of news. A lot of news. Happy birthday, Microsoft has failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I, I'm bummed about that, honestly, because uh, I like the Xbox a lot. And I like Sony a lot, but I feel like they have failed uh, their end user in a lot of ways, not giving yeah. them what they want. I'm not going to argue against that, to, to be perfectly honest. And I, I honestly, I have a problem with both, uh, you know, just exclusive titles like, let us let us play it on PC, please. Right? Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I mean this could kill exclusives. I mean if my if Microsoft stops making consoles, that could you know you don't need exclusives anymore. Really? I mean there's Nintendo and you. And yeah, well I mean no, but both of them would still be doing the same thing that they have been doing, yeah. which is heavily exclusive. <laughs> yeah, they would. No doubt, cuz there is no way that will, that Nintendo will let Pokémon come onto the PlayStation, would they? No. No, not happening. Has Mario or any of the others ended up on other platforms? Like, it seems like, was it, did they do it on the Dreamcast? None of that? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, not that I think so. Hmm. Well, anyway. There, there may have been something on one of those type of Dreamcast weird interim systems, but it would have been like a, a you know, heavily debated thing over at Nintendo. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so sad news this week, man. Carl Weathers passes away. And uh, the first thing I came to mind uh, after that, I was like, you know, kind of reflecting on, on what he had done movie-wise and TV show-wise. Of course, I didn't really remember him too much on TV, but uh, right. the Mandalorian certainly... He played a pivotal character in that, and it makes me wonder what does that mean for the Mandalorian? It does, in this day and age, you know, you used to say, well, they're dead, they're gone, it's over. In this yeah. day and age, that's not necessarily true. Right. But, uh, you know, it, a couple of things. First off, I wouldn't say it was a pivotal character. No. Had some important parts that threaded in, but you know, it was just kind of a side character. Very much beloved, right? Yeah, very beloved um, character. I did think he was important. He wasn't pivotal. Right. Yeah. Um but he was uh, an important character. At at the same time, you know, any concerns about uh AI or anything like that, uh his family is obviously, you know, on their ramparts or whatever concerning his his uh legacy and whatnot yeah um they I, if i recall correctly they still haven't uh announced the cause of death yeah uh, just that he died peacefully at home um so i don't imagine we'll be seeing any ai yeah time will tell huh 
Right. We'll just pop up one day and there'll be Carl Weathers back on, on our screen again. I loved right. him. And one of my favorite movies was Predator. Oh, yeah. You know, I, he was so great in that. And, uh, of course, I mean, obviously the Rocky movies. That's where I, yeah. you know, everybody knew him. That best. was kind of his big push in celebrity, in yeah. my opinion. Apollo Creed, uh, I, man. I really liked him in Arrested Development. <laughs> I thought it was a, a great character. Yeah, dude, I totally forgot about that, man. I'm glad you yeah. said that because, yeah, you're absolutely right. You had some others that you were uh, that you had mentioned uh, <clears throat> before. We well, uh, he was in some of the more popular ones as just like a, a one episode. I think he was in uh, Good Times, Starskin Hutch, Kung Fu, some others. Yeah. Um, one thing that I didn't realize he was in that was a very popular show was ER. Oh wow. Um, okay. But that I wasn't familiar with that because if I recall correctly, while that was broadcasting. I, I don't remember him doing a lot in that time. Mm, me either. So, yeah, maybe that was some somebody throwing him a bone, a little maybe. ball in the career. Sad to see him go, though. Um, <laughs> Definitely. Best wishes to the family, yeah. of course. Good action star. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, he did all kinds of different stuff, but yeah, he his his action stuff was great. Well, I mean, he was a linebacker for the Raiders. Come on, <laughs> Action Jackson. <laughs> Yeah. Who can forget Action Jackson? I went to the theater to see that, dude. I loved that movie when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, it was a great movie because it, it did a lot of, if I recall correctly, it did a lot of tongue-in-cheek stuff, right? Before yeah. that was really popular. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. It had a, it had a, uh, kind of a funniness to it, for sure. Right. So, rest in peace, Mr. Weathers. How old was he? 70 something that's not too bad not too old i mean he could have gone on for another 20 years easily 76 76 okay well another 15 years maybe yeah i'll take him to 101 now take what we can get right <clears throat> that's it man so also on my uh scouring youtube and looking at whatever's new for the day I noticed throughout this week that Apple Vision Pro videos are everywhere. You don't even have to search for them. You don't no. even have to put that stuff in your search bar. It's yep. just there. It's just <laughs> every fucking where, dude. Right. And uh big takeaway I can tell from that is that little that little thing where they show your eyes through it, like the original uh media that they, they put out showed it how it looked perfect on the girl. But then in reality, right. it's like horrible. Unless you're in like a really dark room or something. Yeah, but it's, it's bad. And you saw a bunch of people just like randomly walking around and then, you know, look like crabs in the air doing this shit, you know. It's a little weird. But, well, it also prompted Tesla to to say, you know, don't, or, or maybe it was a, a state, but there was recent legislation passed and I think an announcement by Tesla uh, basically did not use it in the front seat of yeah. your of your car <laughs> and you know people would man right uh, but yeah i'll tell you what you know we heard early on people claiming oh this this could be the next ipod or or uh, iphone and if people plunk down that kind of money and you see people start walking around they, i mean like honestly i see these people walking around but they were all giving them free pretty much mm -hmm. so if you start seeing a ton of people walking around at launch, man, that that may say something. And because I mean, I can see people doing this. Well, I mean, it is Apple. Apple does still have its cult members, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So I don't know. It is also kind of. It kind of feels like the most recent iteration of AR, right? Goggles, anyway. Yeah. Right. Uh, and there are some people that are just there, you know, it's like, you know, next one, new one of the year. Okay. I'll take it. I gotta say, I mean, I, they look nice. They really do look nice. And they're, they're, the, the idea is cool. I just can't abide the price, but I'll right. tell you this. Uh, well, one thing was funny about it. They will not let go of that fucking lightning cable, bro. Right. They must've had like a bunch of them and repurposed them or something instead of just throwing them out. Cause you, well, obviously that they had it open done and, and it's in there. Yeah, they didn't want to throw them out, you know, because of the whole uh, 
Didn't they they settle on the USB C and the yes, e- EU? The EU thing, man. They said you gotta have USB C. Yeah. Or else. Right. <laughs> but I uh I don't know how I feel about it yet. Well, you know how I feel about Apple. I I'll never have one. I'll never experience it. And I'm I I can see where it could be the next iPhone, but that's a high price, man. Yeah, I price. mean, you know, unless you were in uh, music or video studio back in the day, um, Mac was all about image, right? Yeah. It's about your image as an artistic, expressive person. Which is whatever. still, yeah, which is still main, you know, it's main thing. Not as much now as that Jobs is gone, but yeah, image is part of it. That's a huge part of it. Yeah, well, I mean, and that's what I was saying is, is eventually they kind of lost their edge in, in those two departments. Um, probably more so in the last 20 years than the, you know, 10 or so before. Uh, but, you know, it, it's it's all about marketing, right? That's That's kind of been a touchstone for them since its initiation, obviously, with jobs. But, yeah. Whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to play with one, but I'd never, never own it. That's for sure. Yeah, bro. Have uh, there was this uh, game that had just come out with a demo called Star Truckers, right? Right. And it's funny because I had, I guess I'd seen a demo or not a demo, a a, a trailer or somebody's YouTube had had a trailer or something for it. And I had wrote it or made a mental note about it, like, got to check this game out when it comes out. Because I don't know what it is about space truckers, but something about that is just oh so appealing to me. Maybe it's maybe it's just because I've, I've been a truck driver for one, and doing something like that in space would be really cool. But I don't know. It just... As soon as I found out there was a demo, I, I last night I downloaded it and I played through two thirds of it, and I was g- going to try and buy it. I was like, "Take my money, please! Right, I, I have to have this right now." And of course, it's shut it's up not and ready. take my money. Yeah, it's not ready, man. I'm like, "Oh <laughs> God!" But yeah, I would have instantly just plunk, plunk down the money. Um, right, and it wouldn't let me do half of what I'm sure it can do eventually. Uh, so Star Truckers, which I like because it's like, you know, Star Fucker, play on Star Fucker. You can't right. use, uh, Space Truckers, I guess. Somebody's probably got that. I was thinking up. that's, that's that Dennis Hopper movie yeah. that I'm thinking of, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. And, uh, I don't know, man. I've just always just dug that. There's been various movies who have had some kind of maybe, uh, n- maybe not the whole movie, but it's had a Space Trucker in it or something like that. I mean, there was a, a very good episode of Cowboy Bebop that was around space trucking. Um, nice. It's been throughout, like, anime, in my opinion. Um, oddly enough, I, I don't recall anything like that in Star Trek. Well, yeah. Right? No, yeah. Um, in Enterprise, you had the, uh, you had, what's his name on the, uh, um, shit. What's that dude's name, man? The the uh, helmsman. I can't think of his name, but his family, uh, they had the uh, the haulers. Drawn a plane. Horizon's the name of the episode. Okay, and that's the I'll name have of the to ship, check that out. The USS Horizon, but yeah, they were they would haul. They were like some of the first spacefarers. Like, right. even before they had exploring ships and stuff like that, they were the first out there doing stuff, you know, and they were chugging along at, like, Warp 1 and shit and getting nowhere fast. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, not one of my favorite episodes, but it's there. And okay. I just think it's a <clears throat> it's an untapped game play that is new and different, and more people should try and do more of it. That's kind of something I was looking for Starfield to, to have an aspect to. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just been a huge failure. Starfield is absolutely a failure, man. Um, I remember you asking me about Bethesda and uh, if Starfield was a, felt like a Bethesda game. And 
I remember Beth De- Bethesda from way back in and just the crap that they've put out uh, Star Trek wise. Right. Not good stuff. So they've they had a long uh, run of years with a bunch of different stuff out there. So the fact that they've had a couple, two or three really big hits is not a surprise. So, and I'm also not surprised <clears throat> that they're not doing well now with their current uh, game, Starfield. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a hard time to be a big company, right? Indeed it is, man. And uh, I, I think that was what kind of made them was they were this little company outside of a, a little known town uh, back then. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, eventually you get to a certain size. You have to start abiding by certain standards and practices. And you spend a lot more time on the business side than you do on the game side. That's yeah. just my opinion. Yep. Yep. I can see that. I can agree with that. But uh, so listen, y'all won't get to see this video in time really to check out that Star Truckers demo. It, it ends on the 11th. But definitely check out the game if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah. Where's the demo? It's on uh, Steam. Yes, I was on Steam after talking about how I'm an epic guy. I was on right. Steam. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have bought it on Steam. I mean, I don't care. I'll use either one, but I just don't. I think I have uh, the, my Friday 13th game is the only game I own on Steam. Like, I just never buy. I never was an online game buyer until like the last five years or so. Whenever, whenever Friday the Thirteenth came out, that's when I started doing online games <laughs> because I only because I had to. And uh, I guess your your stint as an Epic Games guy may be coming to an end. Well, we'll see. It's getting Disneyfied, isn't it? Oh shit! <laughs> well, yeah, you may be right. Anywho, the old wife has stumbled onto a fantastical tv show that's uh i believe it's on netflix we're not watching it right. through netflix i've just got it my own version and uh, i think you're right it is netflix the fall fall of the house of usher which many know to be a um um edgar, edgar Allan Poe, Poe book or poem i guess it would be more accurate to say but it's yeah. in a book <laughs> a short story short story there you go yeah. um and it, it does have some, you know, references to Poe throughout, obviously. I don't know how to describe what this is. Yeah. Um, it's a large, very, very wealthy family. Not unlike, what? Uh, what's the name of the family that the Oxycontin family? Uh, Sacklers. Sacklers. You're right. Yeah, that's it. Um, it reminds me of, like, the Sackler family because they are, they do have their version of the Oxycontin in the, in the uh, show. So it's pretty much that family, and I guess they've... I don't want to give anything away, because I really don't know. I've only, I'm have only i only, like, three episodes in, and it's just so damn good. I have to talk about it. I mean, I... If anybody love those hasn't shows, man. seen it... But, oh, bro. I yeah, would love to see something that I want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, don't you love those kind of shows? They don't come very often, man. But when they do, oh, my God. Um, it's well-written. The premise is different. I mean, it's just different, and... Uh, I, I just suggest anybody go out and see it. Like, uh, get it on Netflix. Get it on uh, other means if you have to, if you don't have Netflix. However you have to do it. But go check it out. It's only eight episodes. I don't know if it's a mini series or something. That I, I doubt it'll continue on, obviously. No, I can tell you right now. I, I can almost, I'm not going to guarantee, but I can almost say it's not going to continue on. Right. I don't know how they could, just from where it's gone so far. But, I mean, anything's possible. If it just creates a world that people want us to keep seeing. Hey, man, if it's popular enough and people want to keep making money, they can just say, here's the format, here's another family, right? Yeah, yeah. let's just <laughs> retcon everything. Nobody will notice. Yeah. Yeah, so check it out. That that actually makes me think of, uh, we just finished up Sequest, and that had three seasons, and I never saw it all back in the day, but I did watch a lot of them. And... I need to put that in my, in my <clears throat> memory banks, because I... I about at the end of a, a Stargate kick that I've been on for a little while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you should check this out. But they get to the end of the third season, 
and I guess they got worried they were going to get canceled. Like, you're watching along, two characters are dead, then the next episode shows up, and both those characters that were dead are suddenly alive with no fucking explanation. Then you realize it's the last fucking episode. Like, they right. just fucking cut and run, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? That was weird. That was like the weirdest that. thing on television. Uh, one of the weirdest things, because I had a, I don't remember it at all, and it's just shocking. I mean, it really was, because you have to think that they figure, oh, well, people don't see this shit, you know, but once, you know, maybe on a repeat, it airs and it repeats, and people don't remember very well, so they just figure they'll roll the dice, nobody will give a fuck, right? Well, they're not, yeah. they didn't know that, you know, 20, 30, 40 years later, people were going to be, you know, binging their stuff on a on a streaming service, so... Yeah, you get to Man, really I, scrutinize things. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I'm rewatching. I, I'm on like the last two or three episodes of Stargate Universe at this point, which is kind of like the end. Um, I didn't go back and do Stargate Atlantis. I wasn't a huge fan of that series. Yeah, neither was my uh, I don't think they had the funding, may, maybe, is what it was. Quite possible. Um, or maybe it was more allocated towards stars or something else. But anyway, they they had some really just insane ideas in the writer's room on season two of Stargate universe, <laughs> in my opinion. And I, you know, I think it's because they knew they were going to be canceled, but you know, it was like, they had this one character that they kind of like, okay, he's dead. And then they bring him back. And the explanation was just like, what? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> rough, man. Don't treat us that way. Please don't treat us that way. Remember yeah. everything can be scrutinized nowadays. And rewatched over and 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 over. Anyway, one of the few that holds up, though, I I guess we should mention it. Community, right? It's a great series, in my opinion, and it's apparently the movie's going. Oh yeah, I I haven't seen that one. I'm not familiar with that. Oh, Dan Harmon, Community, Joel Hell. Or Mikhail. Yeah. John Mikhail. Mikhail. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen that one at all. You should, man. Uh, if you've ever watched Atlanta or really anything with Donald Glover in it, um, it's no surprise that he, you know, kind of like came into his own uh, in that realm after uh, seeing Community. And I've been thinking uh, he did recently did uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Um, oh yeah, I want to say that was on Amazon. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. Yeah, well, yeah, you might be right. I can't remember. It was either Amazon or Max. I can't remember yeah. which. But um, yeah, it was just basically a, a serialized version of the movie, kind of. Right, right. Um, nothing wrong with it. But after having watched it, and like a day or so after, I I saw a clip from Community, and I was like, man, I I just really miss Troy. It's the character that he played in Community, and it's not been like repeated in my opinion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I would look forward to seeing the movie and hope it all works out. Cool. Well, maybe I'll get a chance to check it out. Well, yeah. anyway, that's really all I got for today. You, got no, you don't want to talk about those nah. sweet nah. cyberpunk mods. No, nah, we don't want to talk about it right now. Okay. I'm not into it right now. Well, I checked them out. Did you check them out? Yeah. Well, I guess not, not in game. I checked out some videos. Of so them. yeah, I mean, I just saw some really cool stuff that somebody was talking about with different lookup tables and uh, some reshade stuff. And I gotta say, it it did give some really, really intense, very realistic effects at times. Right. Uh, I was gonna say. Yeah, uh, they paid a lot of attention to the vehicles and the uh, structures. What are they called? Buildings. Hmm. Buildings. Yeah, buildings. Uh, uh, there's a term I'm looking for, but yeah, the buildings and vehicles yeah. got a lot of love and attention. So a couple a... of the procedural stuff that you kind of catch here and there that yeah didn't quite tweak. Um, there was some things I like. Of course, they mixed some of them. You know. Uh, together to get various results i really it's all about how much they're doing with the depth of feel and getting yeah. aggressive on that and contrast and stuff 
but like uh, the E3 2018 model was kind of cool, giving it that different look. It's amazing how it makes you want to play all over again, just because it just gives it a different vibe. But I mean, it's a totally different environment. It looks really cool. So like a couple to check out are like Nova Lut, um, photorealistic reshade, uh, Gits 3.0, and there I think there's a bunch of different forks off of Gits. Apparently, I was really things. impressed with the Gits. Yeah, um, I was kind of expecting a nod to Ghost in the Shell, but I, I really didn't catch anything. It may have been in one of the videos. Yeah, the Gits one stood out to me too, and I've never watched Ghost in the Shell really. Um, if there was an anime, it would probably be that one that I would watch, but I'm just not down with it. Um, it looked really cool. I like it had a real high contrast and I just love the effect and the look of that. So that's probably the one I'm going to check out. And you, and that you saw, I put in parentheses, very cool. That was the one I liked the most, but it yeah, was I mean, the rea the realism effect is really cool. I mean, like it, it definitely, uh, gives it a new flavor and, and it will give you kind of a little bit of taste of what we're going to have in the future, because that's yeah. where we're going. That realism. I can't wait. It's going to be so awesome. And our uh, G-Force 8800s, we'll be back to the 80, uh, 8000s again, and it'll be like ultra realistic. In a, in a matter of years. <laughs> yep. Back to the 8800s again. Yeah. Well, all right, man. You got anything else you want to talk about? I think that's it for me, brother. Well, all right, man. Cool, cool. Well, all uh, Guys, thank you so much for joining us here and chilling out with us as we talk about all things just nerd, geek, and whatever. Because we love that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, you know, as always, y'all, be excellent to each other. And Brian and I will see you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody. Peace out. Yeah.